Jared, is there something behind you? I don't fucking know, dude. I've been looking behind me. I'm scared. What if your arm's like on the armrest and then a hand comes up? Ah, oh, stop. I am very stressed out already. I am. I am not gonna have a good time. This movie, the, the girl in this movie has terrified me my entire life, despite me not watching the movie. There's that, there's that one video, that one rocking chair video, where she, it's like, it just shows the rocking chair, and she like fucking jumps at the camera. It, like she crawls, I hate the crawling. I don't even, if they put that in this movie, I'm gonna be fucking petrified, wait. Yeah, no, this girl, the girl in this has scared me for a long time. And she still continues to scare me. And sometimes I've been actively avoiding this movie for a long time. I've been trying not to watch it. And uh, now I do YouTube and we do reactions and I'm going to react to it now. And then my OCD is already bad. Like it's already messed up with my OCD. And yeah, it definitely did not help that there, there's a file, the file size of the movie, the, uh, the last three digits or something that I didn't like. Yeah. Um, no, I don't fuck with that. And it's made me very uneasy. And I'm very uneasy, and I'm gonna be uneasy, and then I'm gonna continue to be uneasy, and then I'm gonna have to sleep in the same room that we watched the movie with that file size and the number, and, and yeah, and I'm gonna be scared, and I'm gonna fucking, yeah, let's watch the movie. So if you enjoy watching me be uh, uneasy and petrified, uh, you know, hit that like button, because I'm only doing this for, uh, for you guys, and um, you know, hit the subscribe button, and the uh, notification bell and it's actually me. Oh, I don't like that music. Oh, stop. You ready? No, I'm not ready. This looks like the beginning of an ISIS video. <laughs> What is that? I don't know why that reminds me of Minecraft. This might be the one video where I don't make smart ass remarks. This looks like the beginning of an ISIS video. <laughs> I'm very in I'm anticipated right now. Oh, that's a good shot. Oh, it's the girl. This is like some Halloween vibes too, like pre-Halloween. Like, it wouldn't surprise me if John Carpenter pulled from this. Or Goosebumps. You're in for a scare. Like, I could picture Arl Stein walking to this music. You can recognize who the little girl is, just... Like, if you had no context of the movie, you would already know. But since I know that what she looks like, I know... That that's the girl that gets possessed, and I'm just anticipating it happening. All I, I literally all I know is shit that happened in a scary movie too, and what's been talked about. Cause you know this is an iconic movie. The Ouija board, of course, I got to bring that in there. No, don't talk to him. Captain Howdy, do you think my mom's pretty? You're not supposed to do it alone. Dude, if you got any Ouija board stories, uh, let us know down below in the comments. Of course I like them. Like pizzas too, but I'm not gonna marry one. You don't like him like daddy? That's how you write narrative exposition. Sounds like a natural conversation, but it's like g giving the backstory. It wasn't like Spider-Man, where like Uncle Ben is like, you remember when we used to hold hands and love each other and I remember those times. There's a lot of smoking. Why are there, why are there so many people smoking? Do people really smoke this much? Name drop your, fi your five favorite cigarettes in the comment down below. What are you doing? What's your favorite scary movie? My bed was shaking. I can't get to sleep. No. Get the fuck 
out the house. Dude, she didn't even question it. Oh, you didn't like have a seizure or anything, right? I'm not gonna check on you or anything. Like, you, you can just leave me here with me, you know, it's fine. I feel like some sp spooky shit's about to happen. I don't know why the fuck I'm so sp I, I don't know why I'm so spooked out by this. Cause I, the conjuring and shit doesn't scare me. It's just the girl. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, God. I'd be too scared to share, like, an attic with somebody. I'd prefer, like, there'd be crackheads that'd come in. If you got any stories about crackheads going in your attic, leave them down below in the comments. Smack that crack button down below. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot, your smacking is the fucking scariest thing about this movie. <laughs> What the fuck? She whipped out a dick that was bigger than mine. That was in this movie. Nah! It looks like Nosferatu. What the fuck is she doing? She let loose quite a string while I was examining her visiting here. Well, I find that hard to believe what she said. She said, suck on my balls, bitch. <laughs> Goddamn cunt. Your child's a little fucking shit. It's a simple explanation. You need to you need to raise your child better. Every time I see this guy, I just think of Mr. Bean. <laughs> what the heck, bro? Oh, chill, dude. I'm like a lot more chill now. That they've like taken a minute to show stuff. <sighs> I've had enough time to calm down. I could have sworn I saw a face behind me. Fuck off. You're gonna die up there. She's pissing her pants. I remember the pissing scene being in Scary Movie 2. Yeah, it kind of looks like Brian Cranston from afar. That reminds me of those nightmares. You know those nightmares you have where everything is quiet? Everything's quiet in the dream, like you're trying to speak, but you can't. Yeah, no, I hate that. I can't believe that was a popular haircut. People really cut their hair like that. And girls were like, God damn, that dude's hot as fuck. The fuck was cutting their hair like that, Jared? Have you never seen that 70s show? Oh, no. Her lips are so fucking dry, holy shit. Mmm. I wouldn't let anybody stab that into the side of my neck. Oh! What is this? Mmm! Ah! Dude, I don't like that. Dude, why is there so much blood coming out? <sighs> All that for x-ray? Dude, my neck hurts after watching that. My neck always hurts, but that made it hurt worse. Mmm. Oh. Oh, dude, her throat. How many needles in her neck is she gonna get? This is, I'm pretty sure this is like a super controversial movie. <sighs> the neck surgery scene still bothers me. Not next, the, the x-ray scene where they stuck, they poked her neck. The, bothering me. Okay then. Hello? Sure? Uh, okay. I don't like the music. Not like in a negative way, it's just like not making me, like it's making me uncomfortable. Ugh! Dude! The way she was like bleeding out of her mouth and her nose. It wasn't even the part of her crawling backwards, it was that, that 
the coming out of her nose and stuff. Is there someone inside you? Sometimes. Who is it? I don't know. Is it Captain Tony? The way the camera moves is so nice. But a psychiatrist in sunny California, no less. What's put in jail for not telling the police what he knew about a patient? Is that a threat? No, I mentioned it only in passing. The acting's so good. Conflict or a Dude, holy shit, her lips are so dry. Chap your damn lips! You ever heard of exorcism? Well, it's a stylized ritual in which the uh, rabbi and the priest try to drive out the so-called invading spirit. The victim's belief in possession is what helped cause it. So in that same way that belief in the power of exorcism can make it disappear. It's a placebo effect. You're telling me that I should take my daughter to a witch doctor. Is that it? That was, that was a good line. But uh, I liked the uh, how he was describing it like a psychiatrist would. Oh, it's the object. That was nice. How many times is that bed gonna shake? That demon be like, girl, I can make your bed rock. Really? It's a little girl here. Really, it's a little girl, Jared. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, dude, the noise. I'm gonna be thinking about that later. <laughs> that was disturbing. <laughs> Fuck, I keep on seeing reflections over there and it looks like something's walking under the door and it's scaring the shit out of me. I'm fucking scared, okay? Yeah, well... It's just so happens that somebody very close to me is... is probably possessed. And needs an exorcist. Father Karras is my little girl. Dude, it took a while for her to think about... even... To even think about her daughter being possessed. She's not even phased by the noise. Ah. Uh. I see. He said, mm, avocado. You ask me what I think is best for your daughter. Kill the bitch! Burn down the damn house. Did you know my mother died recently? Yes, I did. I'm very sorry. No. Is Reagan aware of it? Not at all. Why do you ask? It's not important. Good night. He said, nah, fuck you, bitch. I'm out. This is like the next five minutes of the movie. It's him getting as far the fuck away as possible. You like that? Dude, he's just chilling with her and talking with the fucking ghost, the demon or whatever. Why does she sound like? Never mind, that's an obscure reference. Uh, dude. Fuck. Doesn't it just make me uneasy, dude. That like fucks with me, dude. She makes me. She makes me. She. It. It just stresses me out every time it shows up and starts speaking or whatever. Father Karras, it's an honor to meet you, Father. The exorcism, I guess, is like the third act. Okay. I was I was a little bit creeped out and I just thought of a fucking cow <laughs> And it calmed me down. I just need anything to fucking calm me down <sighs> Oh 
Ugh. Every time I try to fucking laugh, there's it shows the face. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this isn't it. Look, there, there has to be something else. Did you hear it? Did it just say amen? The second the lights start flickering, you're- oh! Gene Simmons be like... Dude, no, I don't like how she's looking at the fucking camera. The guy's face, holy the shit. He is like super intense. Oh. That was intense. Let's rest before we start again. Again? To reject the possibility that God could love us. The blocking is so good. Not just the camera blocking, but character blocking as well, where you put the characters at. Oh no, it's shown his mother. You are not my mother. Leave me please. Dude, the acting is so good. The guy kind of looks like an older version of Paul Bettany. Isn't it crazy to think the Catholic Church actually does exorcism? Yeah. I heard a rumor that uh, East Coast Church, I heard a rumor that the priest of that church did exorcist, but I never wanted to ask him, you know? That'd be a weird thing to ask. <laughs> oh no, dude. Holy shit. I thought it was a really good movie. That was a really, really, really good movie. Holy crap a moly, that was impressive. Yeah, I, I did not expect to like the movie. That, like, I didn't expect to like the movie, but I loved it. Like, I wouldn't watch it again. Not because it's bad, but because it, it just bothers me. It, bo it fucks with my OCD. It really fucking bothered me. There's a lot of scenes that made me feel uncomfortable. A lot of scenes that mess with my OCD. See, the things with a lot of horror movies, is like like they'll make me jumpy or whatever but like they'll never like they'll never like disturb me like like there's scenes where like the thing is talking inside of her and like it's just that that creeps me out and i, I'm, I could be saying all this just because of all the build-up i've had with the, the girl scaring me already but i just feel like the movie handled handled it really well it spent a long time building things up you saw from the very beginning a progression like see there's movies like per there's a good example is Paranormal Activity, where the uh, possession, it happens so fast, 
versus taking their time. Like this movie really took its time showing things. It showed every single possibility before they even considered that it was an exorcism. They, they took a really realistic approach and I just, I don't know, it was really good. There's a, there's a lot to like about this movie. First, let me just say that it was shot fucking spectacularly. Uh, this is, has held up, held up really well. Um, you see, there's a lot of scenes of people talking, but the way that they shoot things and the, uh, they kept things moving. They it always it was always moving. Uh, not just like characters moving around, but like I like that. But like just the way it was blocked, like a camera, the camera would I don't know. Everything felt every single cut to something else felt needed. Even in the c scenes where people were just talking, I was interested, which is not it's not usual for me. I zone out really easily, and I didn't. I zoned out maybe once during the movie. That's just because I'm tired. This movie looks really good. It could be because this is a Blu-ray. That's what it says at least. It's not bootleg. It isn't. Yeah, it's not a boot. Anyways, um. It looks really good. The acting. This is something else I wanted to talk about. The acting is so good. That that was impressive. That was one of the things that impressed me the most was the acting. From beginning to end, the acting it was it just kept on they just kept on it with the performances. Even the smaller characters had really good performances. The exorcist guy was good, but um the guy that assisted him, I don't even know his name. The younger guy. It's not a bad thing that I don't know his name, because he was memorable. But he was really good in the movie. You know, he's at the end, he's like, you're not my mom. Or, uh, you know, he's like, it's the whole, his whole performance is fucking spectacular. Everyone did a really good job. Even the uh, kid, usually kids aren't that great, but the kid in here was great. Uh, I wish horror movies would spend more time, like the baddie, the bad guy or whatever. Uh, I wish they would spend more time, like defeating the bad guy or just more time, like, Here's a good example. The movie It, the remake, I like that movie. I love that movie, actually. I've, I've seen it plenty of times. But one of my biggest faults with it is that the end of the movie, they just literally, it, they spend like five minutes beating the beating Pennywise. And it, I don't know. I just, it made, it made the girl in this much more memorable. Like, it's not just a face that I see anymore. Like, the face that's haunted, like, that scared me for so long. It's like the whole entity was uh, memorable because they spent time building it up. They spent they spent time uh, on the exorcist part. Like this movie delivered on its title alone. Like if you go into this because it's called The Exorcist, you're not gonna be disappointed. But uh, holy shit, dude, that was that was fucking good. That's one of the best horror movies I've seen in a long time. I know I probably said that about Hereditary, but that's like a different kind of horror. I mean, this is like like supernatural horror wise. This is like the best thing I've seen. This might just be the best thing I've seen. Probably not. I've seen some, probably seen something else, but The Grudge was another thing that used to scare me as a kid. But I went back and I watched The Grudge, and it it didn't scare me at all. I thought it was fucking boring. I mean, there was things to like about it, but uh, this movie fucking scared me. It delivered. I would give this. This is a good fucking movie, dude. I'm gonna rate it like I always do. I rate it for the time, but also it just held up really well. I have to give this like nine Jareds out of ten because whole oh, like that was good, dude. It's not just a good horror movie; it's a good fucking movie. You can see why people this is held. It's been on in people's hearts for so long, and you can see why people always compare other movies to this because it's 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 the beginning. It's what set all those things up. Like we probably wouldn't have got movies like The Conjuring if it wasn't for this. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And actually, I'm gonna redo that because I don't like the, the hand thingies because most. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button and subscribe. And uh, if you want to know when we upload, hit that notification bell. And see you guys next time. Blah, blah, blah.